Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial, Dual Integration with WordPress. As a continuation from the previous video of how to build your own website, I'm going to show you how to integrate with Duo to protect your administrator login. This video consists of three sections. Let's start with section one, how to install the Duo plugin. Once you log in to your WordPress dashboard, click on Plugins. Then click on Add New. In the search box, type Duo. You should see Duo two-factor authentication. Then click on Install Now. You should see Duo plugin being installed. Then click on Activate. You see that Dual two-factor authentication is being installed and activated. Next, go to the settings tab on the left. Click on dual two-factor. Once this is done, let's move over to the dual dashboard to configure dual. In section two, I'll show you how to configure dual and integrate with WordPress. First, go to application. Click on Protect an Application, then type in WordPress in the search tab. You should see WordPress in the application list. Then click on Protect on the right. You will be brought to the WordPress configuration in Dual. There are three keys here that are crucial for the integration with WordPress. The integration key, the secret key, and the API hostname. It's important that you treat your secret key like your password. First, copy the integration key and paste it into the integration key in WordPress. Next, let's copy the secret key and paste it into WordPress secret key as well. As mentioned, treat this key like as if it is your password and protect it carefully. Last but not least, do the same for the API hostname. Copy it and paste it into WordPress. That's all you need to do for the integration. Remember to save the changes on both the WordPress and the Duo dashboard. Now we are ready for the last part of the tutorial, Section 3, User Enrollment. I'll show you how to enroll the user and log in to WordPress. Once you click on Save Changes in WordPress, you should be brought to this page to enroll your user. Click on Start Setup. Select the device that you want to use as the second factor. Select the country code, followed by entering your mobile number. Click on Text Me to send a verification code. Enter the verification code that is being sent to your mobile phone. Once you click on Verify, you will have the option to choose when you log on, do you want to have a default push notification sent to you or do you want to choose the method of 2FA? Since I choose Ask Me for an Authentication method, I have the ability to send me a push or enter a passcode here. Click on Send me a push notification to send a push notification to your mobile phone. You'll see a notification popping up on your mobile phone. Click on that and click on Approve to authorize this login. Once you do that, you have authorized the authentication with an MFA and you'll be allowed to log on to the WordPress dashboard. Now let me quickly show you how it looks like when the administrator now tries to log in to the WordPress dashboard. Enter the username of the administrator and the password. Now instead of logging in straight away to the dashboard, you'll be prompted with a dual MFA. Similarly, click on send me a push notification. You should get a prompt on your mobile phone Approve that, and you'll be able to log on to the WordPress dashboard now. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Take care and stay safe.